Hello everyone, I am Khanam and this is my second video in PHP CRUD series. Okay, in our previous video we have seen, we have seen the simple structure of form. We have connected to our database. I have written the code for this to connect to my database and also I have created database CRUD series and inside this I have created the table called series CRUD and this is my table structure where I have this ID. F name, L name, email and mobile. As of now, my table is empty. I don't have any data inside my table. Now here, if I show you the project, here I have this basic form structure, first name, last name, email, mobile and here I have this submit button. Okay, now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to insert the data inside the database. Now here, I'll just come here. Now inside index.php, if I want to write PHP here, if I want to insert data inside the database, first here I have to connect to the database in this particular file. Here I have already created this connect.php and here I am just connecting to the database and here I got the output as connection successful. Okay, before that I will just change the title here. I will just write the title as PHP CRUD series. Now if I just refresh this one, you can see my title has been changed now. Now before moving further, I will just connect to my database in this particular file. Okay, to connect to the database in this particular file, I have to include this connect.php file. Okay, on top, I will just write this PHP syntax. PHP can be written anywhere inside HTML. And here I am just going to write this include. I just want to include this connect.php. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one, you can see I am getting here connection successful. Okay, each time when I see this data, when I see this form, I don't want this connection should be displayed. If I don't get error, which means that I am successfully connected. If I get error, which means that I am not successfully connected. So here inside connect.php, I will just change the condition. I will just write here, if I am not connected, then just throw me an error. I will just copy this. And here I'll be pasting that one and here I'll just remove this else condition. I'll save this. Now first if I just come to this connect.php file, here you can see here I'm not having any error which means that I am successfully connected to my database. And here if I come to this index.php file, if I refresh this, you can see here in this file also I am successfully connected to my database because I have included this connect.php file inside this file. And here I didn't get any error. Okay, now once I am done with this, okay, if I just change here, if I just give here root and if I just refresh this one, you can see I will be getting this error inside index.php itself. Okay, so I will just give that root. I will just refresh this. Now here I have this form and submit button. Okay, now once I am successfully connected to the database, I will just come to index.php. Now here we are going to write the code of inserting data inside the database. We are going to write the query of inserting. Now here each input field, okay, you have to insert this particular data, whatever you write inside this input field, that data should be stored, that data should be stored inside the database. So for each input field, I will be adding one attribute here. Here, 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 I'll just come down here and also for my button, I'll be adding one attribute that is nothing but name. Okay, now inside this attribute for first, I'll just give here F name. For last name, I'll be giving L name. You can give any name here. For email, I'll be giving email and for mobile, I'll just give here mobile. For button, I'll be giving here submit. Okay, you can give any name here, but name attribute is important when you want to insert data inside the database. Okay, now once we have given this name attributes, I'll just come here. Now below this, I'll be writing this condition if is set. I'll be writing this dollar post. Dollar post and whenever I click on this submit, that is my button. For my button, I have given the name attribute as submit. I'm just writing this one and that should match with this name. Okay, this particular name. I am just telling that if I click on this button only then this operation should be performed. Okay, and here for my form, okay, I'll just create here form attribute. I'll just copy this form attribute from here and below this I'm just going to paste here. I'll just remove action from here because I'm going to perform all this operation inside this particular file. And here we have to write this method attribute method. I'll give it as post. I'll save this. 
now i'll just come here i'll just refresh this one now when i click on submit you can see here nothing has been affected because we have not written the query yet okay now here first i'll just create one variable i'll give my variable name as f name and here i'll be accessing that particular name field okay i'll just write here f name this you can give any variable name and this whatever you are passing here inside this that should match with this particular name okay whatever name you have given inside this name attribute that should be matching with this okay now next i have l name i'll just give that one i'll be using this dollar post and here i'll just give l name next i have email i'll just create one variable for email and here i'll be writing this dollar hyphen post and inside this i'll just give here email okay this value should be matching with my name attribute next i have mobile i'll just give here mobile dollar post and inside this i'll just give here mobile okay here i'm just accessing all the values whatever i enter inside the input fields okay whatever i enter here i'm just accessing that one i'm storing that inside this particular variable okay that value i'll be getting this value here that value i'm storing inside this variables okay before that i'll just come to each input field and here i'll just give one more uh, property that is auto complete i'll just give here auto complete so that i will not get any suggestion by like type auto complete is equal to off i'll save this now you can see here i'm getting this suggestions here so i don't need that suggestions i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that one and also here i'll be pasting that one i'll save this now if i just refresh this one now when i click on this you can see i'll not be getting any suggestions when i type okay this is how autocomplete is useful we have just created one name attribute and i have assigned some value and here i'm just checking the condition if we set when i click on submit button only then assign the values and store inside this variable and perform the operations whatever i want to perform okay here i am successfully connected to my database now i'll be writing one query i'll just write one comment insert query here i'll just create one variable i'll give my variable name as sql and inside this i'll be writing query insert query insert into table name i have to give inside backticks my table name is i'll just come here my table name is series crud i'll just write the table name series series crud and here inside parenthesis i have to pass the column names okay whatever column name i'm having id f name l name here whatever you can see here that names i have to pass okay id i am not going to give because i have given auto increment and it will increment by itself so i'll just give this f name l name email and mobile first i'll be giving f name okay this name whatever i am writing here that should be matching with my column names i'll just give here l name and here i have email and mobile insert into table name column names inside parenthesis here you have to write this values and all my values will be stored inside this particular variables okay inside this variables the values will be stored i'll copy this and here i'll be pasting that one i'll separate it with comma again i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that i'll just separate using comma and again inside this i'll just copy this one okay this values will be stored whatever value i am having here that will be stored inside this variables so i am just writing this variables here i'll just copy this mobile and here i'll be pasting that one i'll just close using semicolon this is the insert query insert into table name these are my column names values and whatever values are stored inside this variables i am just storing that one okay now to execute this query i'll just write i'll just create one variable result i'll be using this my sql i query my sql i query method and inside this i'll just pass two arguments first it will take connection and second it will take sql okay my query variable sql okay this connection variable is available inside connect.php here you can see here and i have already included this file here so i can use this connection variable and this is my query variable okay whatever variable you have created here that you have to pass okay and this function and this method is going to take two arguments first is my connection and second is my query now here i'll just write one condition if my result if it is true if my data is successfully inserted inside the database here i'll just write echo and inside this i'll just write here insertion insertion successful uh, or i'll just write here 
I'll just write here data inserted successfully. Now here I'll just write else condition and here inside connect.php I have this error. I'll just copy this one and here I'll be pasting that one. Okay, I'll just remove this concatenation from here. I'll just remove this. I'll save this. I'll just come to my project. Now if you see my database, it's empty. I don't have anything inside my table. Now I'll just come to my project. I'll just refresh once. Now here I'll just give here Khanam. Next I'll be giving K. Email I'll just give Khanam at gmail.com and mobile I'll just give some random numbers. I'll click on submit. You can see here I got data inserted successfully. I'll just come to my database. Now if I refresh this one, you can see here whatever I inserted, it has been added inside my database one. First name is Khanam, last name is K, email and mobile. Okay, this is how we are going to insert data inside the database. Okay, in this series only I am going to update this table and I will be adding some more columns that is how to insert the data of select fields, how to insert the data of checkboxes field, how to insert radio buttons and everything we are going to learn in this complete series. But this is how we are going to insert the data inside the database. Okay, here I will just explain you. Here I have just created one form and here I have just written method is equal to post action I have not written because I am just performing this particular operation in the same field. So if you write then also you will not be having any issues. If you don't write then also it's no problem. Okay, here I am just creating this. I have just copied this from bootstrap and here I have just pasted this one. Okay, for each input field, I have to write this name attribute. You can see here I have this name attributes and for my button also I have given the name attribute as submit. Okay, these are bootstrap classes, whatever you can see here, these are bootstrap classes. Now here inside connect.php, here I am just connecting to the database using my SQLI connect localhost root and this is my password and this is my database name. Here I am just checking the condition. If I am not successfully connected, then show me an error. Now inside index.php, I am just including that file, which means that I am connecting to the database in this particular file. And here I am just checking the condition if is set dollar post is submit, which means that if I click on submit only then insert the data or else don't insert the data. And here I am just creating some variables f name, l name, email and mobile and whatever values I am giving here, whatever values I enter here, this values will be stored inside this variables. Okay, from here I will be getting that values and that value will be stored inside this variables. Now here I have just written insert query. I have just created one variable SQL and this is my insert query insert into this is my table name you I am just closing with back ticks and inside inside parenthesis I am just writing this column names F name L name email and mobile this column name should be matching with this one okay this particular column name ID email name email mobile okay I am just writing that column name values and this values whatever I am getting here after entering whatever value will be stored inside this variable I am just passing this variables here and this variables you have to close either in single quotes or double quotes because these are values and this you don't have to close in single quotes or double quotes because these are column names and this whatever you are passing here that should be matching with this name attribute okay whatever value you are having here that should be matching with this this whatever you are writing here now here to execute this query we have this mysqli query method and inside this it will take two arguments first i have this connection and second i have this sql this is variable now i am just checking the condition if result which means that if it is successfully inserted then print me this one or else just show me an error okay i am just writing this condition i'll just remove this extra spaces i'll save this now I, again i'll just come here i'll be inserting one more value i'll just write here I'll just write Sita, Sita, Sita I'll write, email I'll be giving Sita at gmail.com and mobile I'll just give random mobile submit. You can see data inserted successfully. I'll just come to my uh, database. I'll just refresh this. 
now you can see i have this id is equal to 2 this id is getting incremented by itself i am not inserting id because we have already seen we have given auto increment for my id so it will increment by itself name is sita first name is sita l name sita email is been inserted and mobile is also been inserted okay this is how we are going to write insert query and we will insert the data of the forms inside the database Okay, now in our next tutorial, we will see whatever data I am having inside this database, how to display this data inside the website, okay, how to read the data. Now we are going to move into a second part that is reading from CRUD. We have done creating the database, we have inserted, now we will see how to read the data from the database. Okay, now in next tutorial, we are going to learn completely about that. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.